Hello, Collective. Welcome to Sunday Vibes. What's going on in love out there, guys? Let's see. Happy weekend to you guys. It's been kind of rainy over here. But the rain is always good. I always see it as um, a day of purification. I also like to collect rainwater. It's just so purifying. I love it. All right, let's see what's going on in love, guys. Welcome. Welcome to all of my subscribers, to my new ones. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and welcome aboard. If this resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up, a like. It's very much appreciated. And thank you to those who continue to donate. I really, really do appreciate you all. And, of course, all your beautiful, wonderful uh, messages here. Alright, let's see what's going on in love, guys. There we go. Receptive. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. Okay, so you are open to receiving something that has to do with love. And it is fated. Okay. You may be getting some sort of communication here. Either from spirit or someone. Okay, someone's reaching out here. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. This just feels like a surprise. Labyrinth. Even when you feel lost, there is always a way through the labyrinth. Okay? You could be at a point of your life where, where you feel like you don't know what move to make next. Almost like a, a state of waiting for something. You know, something is coming. You're just not sure what. You're just not sure if you're just meant to, you know... Be open to receiving it, which is definitely what you should do. But maybe you're in the midst of change. So things feel uncertain as to, you know, where to move towards next. Um, when you're feeling like this, take some time to go within. Take some time in nature. Take a step back from whatever you're doing where you feel like you may be too engulfed in it. And allow yourself to have a moment of peace so that you have mental clarity or even just a sense of everything is going to be fine everything's going to be okay I believe I trust in the divine and it's planned for me okay and you, you allow that time to just kind of you allow yourself to kind of go with the ebb and flow all right See what else here power your heart's on fire the power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together and let me say something about that for some of you right now you're feeling a pull towards someone here that you have like a soul connection to you may be dreaming about this person whether you know of this person or this is something that spirit is aligning you to and you know nothing about as far as who this is but you're connecting I'm talking to those who are connecting and wanting to be in a new connection a soul connection like the love of your life type of energy like there is a pull that you're both feeling at this time and it's because spirit is aligning you two together your hearts are being activated um, the passion is being activated. The want, the magnetism is activated. So I'm speaking to those of you who, even if you can't see the person's face within your dream state, for those of you, 444, for those of you who don't know who this is coming at you, you're dreaming about it, you're feeling it, you're sensing it. Others of you who know, have an idea of who this is, you're dreaming about this person, but they're also dreaming about you too. There's a certain want, longing 
and um, feeling um, that you both want at this time is what I'm getting here. Yeah, spiritual. Your spiritual journey is beginning, okay, with the dove. Some of you are, you know, going into the dove stage of purity, unconditional love, compassion, divinity. This is a whole new beginning for you. It, it's like freedom, like you're ready to fly, you're ready to experience, you're ready to love, you're ready to see things from a divine perspective, okay? Um, this is so free, so new, so passionate, so intriguing. It, it's full of curiosity and creativity and joyfulness, playfulness. It's like your inner child just broke free and you you grew up all over again and you're at the stages of puppy love. You know, it, it's it's kind of feels like that. It, it overtakes you in, in, in such a beautiful way. It's almost like spirit setting you free again, you know. You get a new chance at love. Um, love is very different for everyone. And how they perceive it is very different. It really matters on their experience and where they're at in life when it comes to love at this point. There are people that don't see love in a very grandiose way. Because that's just not who they are. They may be more logical when it comes to love. They may be just happy with someone that, you know... Uh, they can build with, have a good time with, and and be in, in comfort with. But some people, they see love in a very romantic way. And they live love in a romantic way. And when you learn and you have self-love and self-worth, and you find someone that sees love as you do, it can be such a beautiful experience. Not Love is not just one... Um, how can I put this? It's not one language um, across the board as to this is how it's going to be every single time. It comes in many different forms depending on who you are as a person, as a being, and where you're at in life and in your growth stage. Um, so it cannot be defined by one experience. Um, and what you're about to experience here has everything to do with your love language and how you experience love. That's how it's coming in. Whatever that is for you. Okay? We have admire here. It's time to think of everything that you admire in your partner. Okay? These are the things that, yeah, true love. True love comes when you least expect it. When you're not focused on it. When you're just loving you, enjoying your life acquiring you know more inner wisdom for yourself you're you're curious you stop you smell the roses you're enjoying yourself fully you're taking care of yourself you're not even you know it's like yes you would love love but you're not like attached to it or or obsessing over it you're just being you all of a sudden boom this is someone you're going to admire that admires you as well Okay, this is spiritual. This is passionate. This is, um, it's just different. It's a new experience for you and this person. It's divinely ordained, okay? Let's get some tarot on this. Why am I so inspired right now? It, it, this, this love could be very in, inspirational. Um, so I feel like you guys are going to inspire each other in such a beautiful way and let's not forget of course the duality of people their shadow and light energies but when you get with when you put two people together divinely ordained that have been doing the inner work and are open-minded and um are in a state of freedom right conscious evolution you just experience love differently in a more balanced way Okay, so let's see what's going on here, guys. I'm excited. What is this for you? Strength, courage, confidence, 
okay? Leo energy, power couple energy, shining energy, somebody communicating with confidence here. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. A divine protector. This is um, a very inspiring connection is what I'm seeing here. Um, it might it might come with a lot of admirers, um, a lot of people that see you as an inspiration for what they want to experience in their life. I'm getting power couple energy. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Going through the labyrinth is always a slow process. One step at a time. Going with the flow. Somebody may be in that place on their way to you right now. When it comes to their growth. When it comes to the things in their life that they're learning. And even if they don't know the what's going to happen. 11-11. In the unknown. They're still going through the labyrinth. And experiencing what they need to experience as they um, arrive in your energy here, in, in your reality. In it for the long haul. The star. Faith. Healing. Love. Okay. Pur purification, wish fulfillment, the power of love is like a magnet, magnet drawing souls together. A wish come true. Three of Pentacles. There's a soul contract here. Okay, you can both be very creative. All right, I, I'm definitely getting um, public eye energy here. There could be an artist here or somebody that's extremely creative here. This is someone very protective over who they love, confirmation, their family. Um, they are very, um, how can I say, what's the right word here? They work well with others. They're, I, I, I sense um, someone that is, they have that leadership energy. They could be admired for what they do. And they do it well is what I'm hearing. Um, this person could be um, muscular. Att very attractive. Very masculine here for the, for the gentleman. And the feminine I feel is very... How can I put this? It feels like the feminine is very attractive, um, very otherworldly, um, magnetic, very different. Um, a wish come true for this person. It, it's like there, there's something up, there's something that shines through that this person is picking up on when it comes to you. They definitely see you as a wish fulfillment, or when they do. It's it's like you must be God sent is what I'm getting here. Four of Swords going within, reflecting. What did I say? It's a time of reflection, going with the flow, um, going within, and allowing that moment. You know, instead of rushing anything or you know rushing through anything, just kind of taking in whatever's happening at this time, whether it's for you or them, or both of you. Tell me about the star. Hearts are being activated, definitely. Ten of Wands, yeah. Leaving the burdens behind. Purification, purifying your energy. Letting go of the dead weight, what doesn't serve you anymore. And it just picked up as far as the rain. Oh, I'm hearing that song. Can you stand the rain? What song was that? I can't remember the whole thing, but I just got that little bit. All right, let's see what else here.
five of wands. Okay. Somebody could be letting go of a situation is what I'm seeing that they had to encounter somewhere along their journey. That's what was delaying this union, but it's because it was ordained this way because this person has had to see things differently when it came to themselves. They could have had to go within, heal, maybe meditate, maybe go through an awakening, depending on where you're at, is what I'm seeing here. So they could have went through some drama, some conflict in other things. This could be conflict at work. Um, you know, something else was taking their time. Two of Cups. There you go. Tell me about the Four of Swords. This is definitely someone wanting to move forward in their life. And if they know who you are, definitely this is someone that wants to come towards you. They feel connected to you. They're feeling, there is a lingering feeling of magnetism here that they're feeling. Because I can feel it right now. The heart wants what it wants, like really bad. Yeah, I can't make this up. The heart wants what it wants really bad. Ace of Cups. This person is healing also. They want to come to you with a full cup. Their cup runneth over. And they're reflecting on this new love, this new found connection, if they know who you are. It's like their heart is no longer conflicted. Yeah, clarity, the sun, happiest card in the deck after so many burdens, no more, that's in the past, things have been illuminated, heart activation, I'm telling you, you there, there's something, it, it, this is like, I'm feeling like that bird right now, <laughs> it, there's like an explosion in the heart space of light, of love, of, oh my God, this can't come fast enough. <laughs> Whew. I feel like I'm flying right now. The, the high vibration, oh my God, so high. High vibrations, heart activation in a way where it, it's almost like it hurts. <laughs> but it hurts so good. I don't know how to explain that. Um, oh. I mean, such happiness, such, so many emotions uh, right now being felt in the heart space. Yeah, you guys are being activated big time. I don't know if you're feeling this yet or you're about to, but leave it in the comments. There's the offer. That's the offer they're holding right here with the Knight of Pentacles. Placing it in your hands. Look at that. They're manifesting you. You're manifesting them. Eight of Pentacles. This person could be uh, bored with what they do for work. Or you. Okay. Some of you have been focused on work. And manifesting the fruits of your labor. But, you know, you may be a little bit bored. You may be longing for your person. You know, there you go, the Empress. You are attracting it. It's right here. And that's the cup right here. They're coming. But they also had to drop something, let something go. And, and they're coming. Okay? You're also manifesting maybe a new opportunity here. You're in the energy of attraction with the Empress and the Magician. Okay? Working on something that you maybe have worked on for a while. You maybe gotten bored with it. But it's almost like, you know, right before the breakthrough, you just feel exhausted. <laughs> if it's something to do with career here, uh, with what you've been working on, and then all of a sudden, boom, it just shows up. Don't give up before the miracle, okay? Because you're right there. 
yeah, there's something that, that is going, you're going to have some sort of breakthrough with career that, because you're single right now, you're going to be so independent. There's so many seeds planted here and you're going to be manifesting something. Uh, there's going to be an opportunity coming to you, but it also is connected to love. Yeah, this person is coming. Communication, travel towards you. They had to learn a lesson. And I see the conflict here. Yeah, they went through a tower moment. Okay. And uh, yeah, because they needed to see something. You could have been a tower in this person's life if they see you. Because we have the hermit with the high priestess and the lovers. But this person had to see something about who they were with. And boy, did they see it intuitively. This very wise, let me just say. Um, we have Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini here. It doesn't have to be. And Sagittarius, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, something was holding them back. And it also had to do with finances. Okay, but here they had the key to some sort of finances here. But this person is coming. There has, there's something to do with like a payout at work or there's like some sort of conflicting views at work. They're having some kind of issue. They may even work with somebody that they were with or it's like a work partnership that there's a lot of conflict there. But there is a lesson they're learning um, before they get to you. So they're in the midst of the labyrinth right now. Okay. Let's keep it moving. What else do I want to use here? Let's use this. Yeah, something has them maybe a little frustrated and maybe even a little bit drained. Okay, but they're focused on moving forward for sure. And they're thinking about this Ace of Cups. Can't make it up, power couple. This could be a divine masculine, whether they're a twin or a soulmate, guys. Twins are not the only divine masculines, okay? High vibrational, grounded, committed, and high, highly admired long-term connection. I tell you, there's something about you guys being together. Pushing through fear, ego, and traumas, re revelation, clarity, and understanding. One more shuffle. Yeah, they were dealing with an energy vampire. That's the five of wands. Yeah, somebody was draining them of their time and energy. They were selfish, egotistical, and extremely manipulative. Whether this was a partner or some sort of... Um, work partnership okay that's what they were dealing with here it was holding them back wow <laughs> yeah they were dealing with a she devil they're healing from whatever this was okay she came to destroy hell hath no fury like a woman scorned they are healing from this that's the labyrinth that was the lesson and we have portal look at this Power, the star, the sun, portal. Something you wished for, there's the star, and have been waiting on is coming in, setting your intentions. You set your intentions, and God is bringing it to you. Okay? We have confidence. Someone has taken notice. They see you as sassy, independent, passionate, and mesmerizing. This is how they see you, so somebody could be looking at you. Now, this could be what they saw in this energy vampire, and it was a sly fox, okay? Yeah, Archangel Metatron is helping this person, okay, through negative energy. Assist in ascension, healing with the four swords here motivation and strength so that they could keep moving forward and keeper of the akashic record so anything that happened here with this energy vampire and she devil 
it's going down in the books, right? Going down in history. <laughs> wow. So you know they're healing from some major heartbreak there. And there you go. Mrs. Wright. You've made me believe in real love again. I can see your true spirit. I admire your authenticity and charm. I open myself up to you. When it comes through your portal, you're going to see this person for who they truly are. And it's going to be complete wish fulfillment. You're going to feel it in your heart, in your spirit, in your soul. You're, going to, you're just going to know. Okay? Yeah, God is here. Saying, trust in me. Everything that has been done, I can see. I mean, I see and know. My plan for you will not go unnoticed nor forgotten. Yeah. Boss man with against all odds. Okay. Business owner and or entrepreneurship. They are a forethinker, foreseer, and visionary. This is against all odds. So this connection is very inspiring connection. Deep love and support, attracted to each other in every way, inside and out. So there may be some opposition from others, because it says against all odds. This could be an interracial connection, doesn't have to be. But maybe certain people just don't want to see this, but you, some people will, because you are a power couple. That's what I was picking up from the beginning. There are admirers here that are curious, okay? Options in love, people are feeling a gravitational pull towards you at this time. But you will know what's for you, okay? Yeah, you could still be figuring yourself out. Not sure what you want at this time. You, it's something you have to just feel naturally. Divine Feminine. Okay, you are reaching the pinnacle, understanding your worth and value. With the star and the sun here, absolutely. You're meant to be seen, you're meant to shine. For sure. With the star and the sun, you are shining right now. You're standing out from the rest, is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, keeping it simple, going with the flow, mutual admiration, interest, integrity, empathy, and respect. Okay, so you're both mirroring this energy at this time. And then we have nature. I enjoy the outdoors and connecting with all forms of life. It helps to nurture my soul. That is the divine feminine energy. And here's your secret admirer. I may not have said anything yet, but I find you irresistible. I love the way you carry yourself. Okay, old souls. A special kind of love, a love that withstands the test of time and space. An unbreakable bond. And yes, they're going through some growth. A lesson they won't soon forget is teaching them a great deal about themselves. A grim reality. Especially when it comes to this um, energy vampire. And yeah, grounded. I am here for you in every single way. Let's build something together. So they want to build with you. They're protective. They're grounded. It's a very stable energy. Could be an uh, earth sign for some of you. Doesn't have to be. Yeah. Something is being kept or hidden from you. It will come to light soon enough. This could be by spirit. Alright. They don't want you to know everything right now. Earth angel. Okay. With spy. Taking a closer look. Getting more information. Hidden truth coming to light. This person could see you as an earth angel. But they're not. They're like, hmm, are you an angel? Like... Who are you? Yeah, you're dreaming about this person. Boss woman, and we already had boss man. I work diligently, I move silently and swiftly. I am creative and innovative. You will have some sort of breakthrough financially here as well, whatever you're doing for work. And we have dreams. I love meeting you here. I can feel how connected we really are. Definitely, this is for those of you who are dreaming, and there's some sort of activation going on in the dream state. Uh, when it comes to each other, and I feel heavily, it's heart activation. Spirit has led, led you to this catalytic point, feeling enthusiastic and energized um, and confident. You guys can be destined to have a cosmic child. Um, spiritual warrior, you will protect this child fiercely. Yeah, with intimacy here. Yeah. Okay. Wow. 
That's for some of you. Okay. Let's see what else is going on here. So this is the kind of person that loves a confident woman. They find them irresistible. It's just when they met someone that acted confident on the outside, they were actually an energy vampire, which tells me they were actually very insecure. They just presented themselves in a confident manner. She devil or he devil, whoever they dealt with, male or female. Um, definitely not the person for them. All right, let's see what else here. And they are receptive to what spirit has for them. Yeah, they're freeing themselves. You don't need to be in control of everything for a love relationship to be successful. They're, so they could have tried to make things work over there, but it didn't. And they're freeing themselves. Make the effort. This love is worth taking risk. You are called to move forward. And they know it. They feel it. Okay. Towards you. Distance. Separation you are experiencing is necessary to help the relationship grow. Okay. So... What Spirit is saying right now is not here right now because they are going through a lesson and they are growing and they are healing at this time. So, you know, this it may take a little more time. This could be weighing heavy because you're feeling it coming closer and closer, okay? Yeah, Spirit is just saying, you know, open yourself up to others friendship-wise, okay? This is how you will create new friendships and attract a love relationship. Just by being happy, being you, interacting with others, and, um, you know, keeping yourself, you know, still experiencing your life. It'll show up, okay, when it's meant to, all right? Okay, yeah, wow. <laughs> What's going on here? unconditional love we have those of you this is a twin others of you this is a soulmate divine timing be patient while things are unfolding this connection is worth the wait all right this person is your mirror soul this is why this connection feels so sacred to you yes this person is your soulmate your connection is sacred unconditional love true love the love between you and your person is eternal. Nothing and no one can take it away from you. So whether it's a soulmate or a twin, there you go. Yep, take a leap of faith. Only when you're willing to step out of your comfort zone will you reap great rewards. And they are freeing themselves, stepping away from the comfort zone, understanding more, learning, growing, healing, and moving forward here. And keep the door open. Don't be so focused on a closed door that you don't see the ones which open for you. And separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I see that here. Some of you may be in the midst of, you know, making a choice also between a twin and, an, and a soulmate. So take it all as it, as it resonates. Let's get another round. open their eyes if someone shows you who they are believe them the first time that's with the person they were with and now they need to put themselves first which is what they're doing okay loving yourself makes you more romantically attractive and that's what they're doing right here with the four swords and the ace of cups and somebody's pissed off because this person is out of there but that's their problem and law of attraction 
You have been manifesting this relationship. Everything you want will soon be yours. And that's the Empress and the Magician. Okay, so you have been manifesting this. And be honest, heart-to-heart -heart conversations are necessary. It is safe for you to talk about your feelings. And there is not enough love to keep this relationship going in a healthy way is what they just finished going through. And they had to be honest and have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with that person. This person has already moved on. Okay. And come in your way. Let's get some messages here. Let's see. I keep getting that song. Free your mind and the rest will follow. Be colorblind. Don't be so shallow. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. Before you can read, you've got to learn how to see me, I said. They could have been dealing with somebody that's kind of, uh, I want to say maybe whoever they were dealing with could have been kind of racist. That's what I'm getting. You deserve better. Yes, they do. And if this is you going towards a, uh, a feminine here, Mrs. Wright, you definitely deserve better. I can't let go of you. That's the um, she devil. She cannot let go of this person. And will this ever change? That is your question. Will will the person come to you? Give it time. It's coming. Yeah, they want out of that situation and they got out. Okay. <laughs> They feel a little lonely right now. Or this this she-devil is trying to manipulate them with I can't let you go. I feel lonely. And I wish I could understand you. Will this ever change? Hmm. With distance, the separation you are experiencing is necessary to help the relationship grow. For those of you dealing with a twin, uh, you could have been distant from them for a while because they were learning a lesson. And you wish you could understand them a little more. You're wondering if that situation will ever change. There is change going on in their world for those of you who are wondering about a twin. It is all too much. Why can't I move on from you? I have to let you go to find myself. Okay, this is someone that's struggling over here because they let somebody go and they are healing from that. It was just too much drama. And what do you see in me? They're wondering what you see in them. So for some of you, um, you know, you did have a twin and a soulmate in this in this uh, reading. So for some of you, your twin is dealing with some kind of um, self-confidence issues. Okay. And wondering what you see in them. They have hurt me. And this love is crazy. <laughs> so they got hurt in this situation with a she-devil, an energy vampire. And they can't stop thinking about you. And they were stuck. They couldn't make a decision. No one understands me but you. And I'm obsessed with you. Okay. They want to be different. That's why they're healing. And they don't want to be alone. And they wish they could be fully honest with you. But right now they're healing. And I definitely... Yeah, they can't talk to you right now. Okay? I feel like that's for those of you who have been dealing with a twin. Now, for those of you who are dealing with a soulmate. A new connection coming in. Let's see here. Let's see what we got. Oh, before we go there, let me get some. Because you do have something coming in that you wished for. Your heart's true desire here. So, let's see what's going on.
I just want space. That's between them and this energy vampire. So you could be watching and you're stuck between, you know, the past and the future here. If you're the masculine here. Somebody that was with an energy vampire, whether you're male or female. Okay. Gender is irrelevant. I imagine you naked, definitely. Okay, with I feel lonely. So because this person is single at the moment and healing, they're thinking about their divine feminine, whether this is you or them. And over here with Mrs. Wright, be more selfish. With, I'm a very jealous person. Some of you are being more selfish and you may be, want new love. And um, they may not like that. Clarify that. Gossip only hurts more. And we have light. Oh, so there's people jealous of of this feminine because she is light. So there are people talking, I feel, to this person because they're jealous and they're spreading gossip. And they know they need to be more selfish and go after what they want is what I'm getting. This is giving me this person, it's hard for them to make a choice because they're like they feel like they owe loyalty to their friends and family and what they have to say eh, yeah this person still has to come into their own power when it comes to a twin is what I'm getting here yeah they're like I'm sorry I want to first start with you yeah that's why there's somebody else here Somebody that wants a fresh start with you and says, I know you from somewhere. Time to ground yourself. If I asked you to stay, would you leave? I meant what I said. Let me hold you. Maybe. I don't want to lose you. I worry about us a lot. Do you even see me that way? They're in so much pain. They can't even look at you right now because you are their everything so they can't face you whoever this twin is can't face you okay they don't even know if you even see them that way if you even want them in your life and there's somebody new here like oh I know you from somewhere and I feel like that's the soulmate so let's get let's see what's going on here I know you from somewhere Okay, I feel like that's still somebody else here. I know you're from somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Your twin keeps trying to say, I need more time. I miss you, do you? They just need time. They're not, they're just not ready. But depending on how long this has been taking, you just may want to move forward. I'm not sure. So take it out. It resonates. Okay. You you know your situation. Oh, boy. So you know what I'm going to do because this is uh, this can get confusing once again. Where's the soulmate? For those dealing with a soulmate, where did it go? There it is, and there's the twin flame. Soulmate, twin. Tell me about the soulmate.
Ace of Cups. I left because you told me to? I know you from somewhere? Is this your twin trying to say they left because you have a soulmate here? Yeah, they need more time. Okay, so your twin knows that you're going to meet someone. Because they're just not ready for, for this kind of love right now. They're still in the labyrinth needing to heal from a she-devil here. So they they may feel themselves that they are not ready for you right now. Yeah. Clarify the twin. Yeah, I sometimes wonder if you care. I just wish things were different. They were in their strength, you know, their ego before. Maybe you sometimes wondered if they care. They want you all the time. Yeah, and they hope you'll wait for them. They want to be loved by you. And again, do you even care? Because happiness is your priority and they see that. They know that. With the sun and the, and the star. Yeah. They want you to choose. You make me want to do bad things. I feel the same way. And then, yeah, nah. Okay. Tell me about this soulmate here. For those of you who want a soulmate. Whoever the soulmate is, they want it all with you. And we had it's all mine. So once you get with a soulmate, they're not planning on letting you go here. Okay? Ace of Cups with I know you from somewhere. You feel there's a familiarity here between you and someone. Tell me about this soulmate. You woke me up to a higher perspective. You're going to be my wife, husband. So you woke somebody up. I'm blowing your options out of the water. Remember we had the card of admirers and a secret admirer. So there you go. This person's going to show up to for you like this person never has. That's that's the difference. I don't care what other people think or say. This could have been an issue with your twin. But whoever this is, they don't care what other people think or say. Okay? But this person, they have gossip and people that are jealous of this. And they know they should be more selfish. Maybe, maybe you've hinted that they need to be more selfish and stand up for themselves. But for some reason, they feel like they owe loyalty to their friends and family. They need, they need to um, stand strong in their conviction. The twin. Okay. Let's see what else. Yeah. Whoever this new person is, they see major potential in this connection. They could have been hurt recently. Or they, they're going to see that you've been hurt recently. You are someone I can open my heart to. With the Ace of Cups there. I'm completely intrigued. And someone is coming out of left field. Okay, what's this? 
I get in my head even though I know I shouldn't. So this person, this soulmate's coming out of left field, guys. Okay. This is someone that's going to show up. They're, they're, they're not beating around the bush like your twin has. But you know how those twin connections are. I like that you're down to earth. And, you know, they're going to see if there's a mutual feeling here. Do you feel the same? It is a soulmate, so, yeah. Your energy is so attractive, and I've always dreamed of someone like you. <sighs> so I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I don't judge anyone for what they love to do. And I'm making time to be with you. Lost in your essence. My friends are rooting for me. And you must be God sent. Look at that. That's what I got when I was doing the reading in the beginning. And they're so excited to get to know you. And I'm going to love you like you've never been loved before. Look at that. Oh, man. This is a tough one, guys. They're worried you have someone else in your life, so maybe they're picking this up or they're just wondering. And I see you are everything that meets the eye and more. And you got them falling in love. Anything about this twin? For those of you who could be dealing with one or the other, okay. Yeah. My family wants my happiness and I fear that you will reject me. So definitely a lot of doubt. They wonder if you care. And this could be a fear of their family too. If you're someone that's just going to break their heart or reject them. But there is a lot of gossip and jealousy around your light. Is what I don't like. When it comes to your twin. They want to know more about you. So this is somebody you didn't quite get to know too, too deep. And again... You got them falling in love. So you're either dealing with both situations or one or the other. Okay? Well, you're about to be dealing with a soulmate. They want to turn this dream into a reality. All of a sudden, here you are. So they might show up out of the blue. They just, they're still going through the healing process, okay? They want to know if someone else loving you with this is a keeper, okay? They want to know if you met someone that's a keeper for you. Someone you dream of a lot? Here you are. Yeah, they might be thinking, this person may feel that you're meeting someone, whether you've met them yet or not. So for some of you, your twin's picking up on you meeting a soulmate here. Ah, wow, this gets like really crazy. Let's see here. A masculine is taking care of himself. Whichever one this is, I do see your twin healing and reflecting, but they're still in the midst of the labyrinth. And you woke a soulmate up here. So take these messages as they resonate for whoever resonates with whatever part of the reading. Leave the rest if it doesn't fit your story. You don't need to tell me in the comments that you don't want to be with anybody new. You don't have to be. You simply... In your own life, you're either for it or against it. It's your decision. I can't tell you what to do. <laughs> you do you. 
I'm just here to give you the message. All right, what's going on with this twin? I want to know more about you once again. So you guys don't really, you never got a chance to really truly dive deep here. Because they, they could have been in a karmic situation the whole time. Or when they saw you, they went a different direction. And as you can see, they went into the energy vampire. The she-devil. Chemistry on fire, of course. It's your twin. Your life is about to change for the better. That's how they feel, is what I'm seeing here. People are cheering you guys on. Okay, so there are some people cheering this on. They're saying, never again will I doubt you. So they doubted you in the past. They're not up to par. Um, what I'm getting is they're still healing. Okay. They're not quite there. They're still learning and growing. Yeah, they're in their feelings. I feel like they know that... Because I feel like you're more ahead as far as your, your, your growth, your spiritual journey. And they're in their feelings because they feel... They, they don't have a lot of self-confidence right now. Especially after this connection that they just went through. They still need time. They want to be the person you can't live without. So tell me about this soulmate. Okay, so you woke this person up. So now they see what you were talking about. So this could be someone um, reading your text online or something like that. This soulmate. Because you woke them up. Right? Right? You woke me up to a higher perspective. Now I see what you were talking about. They were recently hurt. So they saw something that you talk about online that they applied into their own relationship, basically, and saw it from a higher perspective. It could be even something they were bringing to the table or so, or some sort of um, pattern that they found themselves in. You woke them up to something, whoever the soulmate is. Yeah. And you remind them of what, what is good in life. This is a very genuine person here. Okay. The soulmate. You won't settle for less than you deserve. Yeah. And they see that. <laughs> I'm all yours. Maybe that makes them feel a little foolish, <laughs> a fool in love or something. It says, your inner beauty is really shining through. That's the star and the sun that we see here. Okay. Standing out from the rest. I said that. Love is here. I'm all yours. I feel like they feel like a fool in love. They're, they may feel a little foolish. <laughs> Again, you remind me of what, what is good in life. They want to be more than friends. We have blackmail here. What's going on with blackmail? No looking back. Somebody could have tried blackmailing this person. There's no looking back. Yeah. I have to break someone's heart and it doesn't feel good. Wow. They were hurt recently. So they had to, they had to break up with somebody. But with blackmail being here? Mm, that wasn't a good connection. Yeah, they misjudged whoever they were with big time. They weren't who they appeared to be. No looking back. So they thought they were with a good person and it ended up not being so. Okay, you are safe with me. That's what they want you to know. And they see your worth. 
There is no question here when it comes to you. There is no, you know, doubting you, setting you aside. They see it right from the beginning. More than you asked for. So take these messages definitely as they resonate. Wow. I don't know what else to tell you. Okay. Let me get some of these. Tell me about your twin. They're so attracted to you. never met your twin in person religious they're religious that could have been a big okay this fell over here so are you my soulmate because this is deja vu when I saw you yeah why couldn't I meet you sooner so they were already involved in a connection when they met you your twin that's why we've never met we Oh, wait, it says we've met before. Yeah, I was like, what? I don't know why I was getting that. So you've met your twin, obviously. But you met them when they were with someone else. That was the problem. And they have, like, they're, they could have strong religious views or their family. This is why there's a lot of jealous and gossip around this. Because you think different. And they have an issue, like, they have a hard time going against their family views or values that's the problem somebody could have gray eyes it was love at first sight when they saw you they have a hard time trusting and they couldn't help but wonder what life would be like with you they can't help but wonder that right now They could be younger than you. This could have definitely, your twin could be a secret admirer. And they have always been curious about you. But they were already involved. That's the problem. Wow. Anything else here? Maybe they thought you were a soulmate also. But you're actually their twin. You will meet this person while you're out somewhere. So you met them while you were out somewhere. Maybe out in nature or something. At a park. I don't know. We have Netflix and chill. Okay. So they dream about being with you. So maybe they were dreaming about you two, Netflix, and chilling, and then it says, I wonder if it's just as good as it is in my dreams. So this was a dream that they had. Yeah, it says they should have taken the chance when they had it. So maybe they met you right before they got into a relationship, and they wish they could have met you a lot sooner. That's what I'm getting. And somebody here has green eyes. Everything about you draws me in. Open book. I feel like they see you as happy and balanced and open-minded. Because this person is definitely not balanced yet. Yeah. You look damn good. Yeah. That's how they saw you. Alright, tell me about this soulmate. We have brown eyes. You are them. Please flirt with me more. Okay, so you could know of this soulmate. This could be somebody you're flirting with online or they're flirting with you or about to. I see you as someone I can build with. Definitely. It was like it wanted to flip, but then it said, nah, that's not it. <laughs> okay. We'll accept that.
gray eyes came out again. This could be you or them. We have traveler and they are a giver. They could travel for work. I also heard for charity. And they're loving and charming. They feel they can trust you. Okay, even though they've been hurt recently. This, this may be somebody that has to um, travel to see you. Open-minded happy and balanced. I feel like that's how they're seeing you. Okay, because this came out twice. Anything else? Green eyes came out again, but it came out over here, so we'll leave it there. And everything about you draws me in. Sarcastic. You could be sarcastic. Yeah, because you look damn good funny and great personality this is how they're viewing you i feel okay so this is how you express yourself wherever it is online or in person i'm a one man kind of uh, i'm a one woman kind of man no games here or one woman kind a uh, one woman kind of um, one man kind of woman prankster nice physique okay you look like someone i can bring home to mama and they have no children and I have been wanting to talk to you for some time. They are protective. Okay. And we did have the card there of it's all mine. And I want to know what it feels like to be around your energy. So this is somebody that hasn't really been around you yet. Open book with... Okay. That's over there. Okay. <sighs> Anything else here your twin has to say? I'm trying to give you as much clarity as possible, guys. I think about you so much, it is scaring me. Okay. That's your twin over here. I hope to have a future with you one day. thinking about right now is how attracted I am to you. This person is highly attracted to you. Of course, it is your twin. And I never experienced this intense connection before, clearly. <laughs> yeah, don't forget about me. I haven't forgot about you. And I don't know if we can use anything over here with this deck, but let's see. With the soulmate you haven't met. Or know of, but haven't met personally. Ooh, they're hiding their true desires for you at the moment. You are so beautiful inside and out once again. <laughs> Your twin speaking like, hey, hey, don't forget about me over here. I haven't forgot about you. I think they're very scared of you moving forward, especially with a soulmate, because they know that once you make that move, you're a goner. Yeah. Whoever the soulmate is, basically, it says no matter what ha what happens, my heart will always belong to you. So this person is always going to feel connected to you, no matter what choice you make here. It's like... This is a very understanding person as well. That This is hard, man. I almost feel like crying. Yeah, look at that. I'm so in love with you. You are so perfect to me. This person will kiss the ground that you walk on. This is somebody that would take care of you. Like, no question. Like, they're not going to leave you with all these unanswered questions and feelings like what happened here. But the reason this happened over here with your twin is because they're just not healed. They're, they're still growing and learning. So, and, and you guys know your story and whatever happened there. So, which is different for all of you. 
but I mean this this looks like heaven sent this this soulmate. Anything else here? Look at that. You came out of nowhere, okay? It says, I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met. But I can't deny I'm falling for you. What I'm getting there is just you were an unexpected surprise. Again, I'm so in love with you. Obviously, the potential for love is there because you guys haven't experienced it yet. So take the card, you know, take the message, you know, with a grain of salt. But you are so perfect to this person. In their eyes, you're like the right fit for them. And it's because you are truly their soulmate here. I don't know what to tell you guys, but... Uh, that's where I'm going to leave it. Do with it what you will. Only take what resonates. Okay? Thank you for watching Sunday Vibes. I wish you guys the best. And I'll see you next week. Peace.